have you ever a painted a model and it looked amazing so you decided to take a photo of it to share with your friends or on social media and then as soon as you put it onto your computer it looks like it's been painted by a toddler with a wallpaper pasting brush or are you just generally wanting to level up your modeling and painting game well if so then some sort of magnification is a bit of a no-brainer but there are tons of options out there what is going to be the right one for you well, I've got three main options for you today, and we're gonna go through the pros and cons of each. Now, if one of these looks exactly like the piece of kit you're looking for, then I'll put some links down in the description and also on my website at flyingravenstudios.com. But also on the flip side, if after watching the video, you realize that is not really ideal for you, then that's also amazing, because hopefully I've just saved you some money. Okay, so when it comes to the first option, when it comes to making things look bigger, the first thing you might think of is a magnifying glass. And therefore, something like this can be really good. Now, I bought this by accident uh, ages ago, years ago. Now, this is the Otlite Daylight LED magnifying lamp. It's basically a desk lamp uh, with a magnifying glass built in the top here with a ring light of daylight LEDs built into it here. Now, price-wise, this one is actually the most expensive that we're going to look at today. Now, at the time of filming, this thing is about £44. For, bear in mind, it is a desk lamp, it's a daylight LED, uh, and it has a magnifying glass built into it. Now, I mentioned it is a daylight lamp. Now, if you're not sure what this means, now any artificial light source will have a temperature to it, and this is measured in kelvins. So for example, a light temperature of 2,800 Kelvin. Now this is gonna be a very warm incandescent light bulb type effect. Whereas a 6,500 Kelvin light would be a cold white light. Whereas a daylight lamp is gonna range between 4,000 and 5,000 Kelvin. A bit like this. Okay, just for demonstration purposes, I've got a Tau Fire Warrior from the Warhammer 40K range. I've chosen this one because it's naturally a very small model. Now, it's, I've only just very quickly made it up. It's still covered in mold lines, but it will do for demonstration. Now, this particular OTT light is lit with daylight LEDs with an inbuilt 1.75 optical grade magnifier. Now, it has four points of adjustment, so you can get it to pretty much any angle that you want. Now, whilst the daylight LEDs are great to paint under, uh, as well as a simple desk lamp, but also I find that the thick frame that goes around the light, it also really cuts out a lot of your peripheral vision, which means you have to kind of move your head if you want to mix something up on the wet palette, for example. I did find that you need to have the model really close to the glass to have it in focus. Now, this can make it difficult to get a paintbrush into exactly where you want it. Now, another con with this is that you have one set magnification. You can't change it out if you need something a bit more powerful. Now, the second option is if you take that magnifying glass, you strip away the frame and attach it to a headband, then you get something like this. But you will also see these in a wide range of different styles. Exactly the same principle, but in different styles. Now, this is the cheapest of the options we're looking at today at £16.95. Now, I've had this particular set for quite a while, so the box is pretty battered. But in it, you get the headband itself, and that has an inbuilt LED torch. Now you can get these with a standard like um, eyeglass arms, but I've swapped those out uh, for a headband instead because it's much more comfortable to wear. Now the lenses come separate and they come in a box with five different lenses. And to fit it, you simply take it out and it just snaps into the black fitting at the front. And once you've done that, there are a few ways you can adjust it um, to uh, get it at the angle and the position that you want it on your face. So when you put these on, they are quite close to your face, so you do lose a fair amount of peripheral vision. But to get it in focus, especially on the higher magnifications, you do have to have it really quite close to your face, which can make it quite difficult to get the brush in and paint it accurately. Also, it does tend to put you in quite a, a hunched position as well, which is can be rather uncomfortable for longer periods. Now, both the desk lamp with the magnifying glass, as well as the magnifying lenses on the headband, they both have their bonuses but there's one big problem with both of them. Now, what I found with these is that the focal length on these is really short. Now, if you don't know what I mean by focal length, then 
the focal length is basically the distance from the, the lens next to your eye and the object that you are trying to look at and at what point that comes into focus. Now with these two ones that focal length is very short which means you haven't got a lot of working space but also if you are a content creator and you're trying to paint something on camera then it's hard enough work trying to keep it in focus and in frame at the same time. You have no idea how much footage I have floating around with a model half out of frame or completely out of focus. But doing that whilst trying to magnify it at the same time and keep it in that focal range whilst you're keeping in focus on camera and in frame on camera is an absolute nightmare uh, with the other options. So therefore I started looking for something for options that would give me the, the powerful magnification I needed, but also something with a longer focal length. So therefore, A, I can keep it in frame and hopefully more in focus uh, when I'm doing things on camera. But also, secondly, if, even, if you, even if you're not a content creator, having something very close to your face like this, that's not a good biomechanical position for you to be in. For, definitely not for any length of time. Now, if you've got a longer focal length, you can have it more at arm's length, and it's a much more natural and much more comfortable position. But finding that was a significant challenge. Now, I looked at all sorts of things. I even looked at a digital camera, which then acted like a electronic microscope, which you can have it on and therefore that would display the image on a computer screen. Sounds great, but once again, the focal length was lousy. But after browsing through tons of websites, I came across these. Now these are binocular loops, and these are 3.5 times magnification, which is the same strength as the most powerful lens we had in that last set. Now if you go shopping for a set of these, now remember I have put a link down in the description and also on flyingravenstudios.com. The thing to remember with these is that different ones work in different ways. Now these ones are binocular, but you can get other ones which are slightly cheaper, but they are designed to be used on one eye or the other. So they literally sort of flip up or flip down, okay? But you only use one at a time. Now on TV, for example, you will often see dentists or surgeons using far more powerful versions of these. Now these ones are actually marketed for dental students. They're kind of the entry level. So therefore they're designed to be working more at length, but still having a high quality image. Also with the benefit of having a binocular version is, is that you maintain your depth perception. So when you're trying to put your brush onto the model, then you're not trying to kind of gauge, kind of guess where it's actually going to put paint onto the model, which is kind of handy. But also when it comes to comfort, these ones are just 52 grams, which is 10 grams lighter than these ones. Now, whilst these are kind of entry level loops that we're looking at, they are also price wise in between the two we've looked at already. Now I bought these for £25.99, which is about $32 US, roughly. Now I can't get the camera to look through these loops, so this will be kind of my representation, kind of a recreation of what it looks like. Now what I do quite like about this is that you've got a quite a very a small focused image in the center of your vision, but even without turning your head, you can just look away from that focus point and then look at something else you've still maintained that peripheral vision. So you can look down at your wet palette, then back at your model really quite easily. Now, one of the unexpected benefits of using these loops is because you've got a longer focal length, it, it naturally makes you into a, a much better posture. Now, if you do over time, because you're getting tired, start to just curl into that sort of uh, more hunched posture, then it kind of reminds you because the model goes out of focus. So it kind of reminds you to sit back up again in a much better posture. So which of these would I recommend? Well, I've bought all three of these, and I've used all three of them. The desk lamp is a fantastic daylight lamp. The daylight color tone means that it does not mess with the colors that you're painting, so that is fantastic. However, I found its most use as a lamp rather than a magnifier. It's just not enough working space. The focal length is too short. Okay, so option two, the magnifier on the headband. Now, that has its definite bonuses because you can change out the level of magnification that you want. It's not too heavy, not too bulky. Also, it is fairly sturdy. It's not gonna break very easily. But that very short focal length, having to paint right up in front of your face, being up like this is not good for you biomechanically. 
especially for longer painting periods. But having used all three, I've got to say that personally, I find that the binocular loops are the best of the three. Yes, price is mid-range, but you do get a lot for your money. The magnification is fantastic. The image quality is superb, and they're really nice and comfortable. Also, because they're binocular and you can adjust it really, really finely, you can get the depth perception really nice and get a nice, comfortable, clear image, especially because that longer focal length allows you to be in a much better and much more comfortable position when you're painting for longer sessions. Now, if that sounds good and you'd like to get a pair of these for yourselves, you can check out the most up-to-date prices down via the link in the description or on the website at flyingravenstudios.com. If you like that, if you found that useful, please bash that like button and share it across your social media. And I'll see you for the next project.